Hey what's up guys and so in this video I want to tell you about 10 cool things that you can do with Mi Band 4 and the first thing that I want to talk about is incoming call alerts delay and for that you have to go into the Mi Fit app on your phone and then go in incoming call and here you will see this set delay uh, timer here so you can set it from 3 seconds all the way to 30 seconds now what this basically does is that um, whenever you're getting a call on your phone it will wait for the amount of time that you have set here before the notification comes on your band and your band starts to vibrate like crazy now this is very good for instances when your phone is right in front of you or is in your hands and you're getting a call and you don't need a notification to come on uh, your band and your band to start vibrating you can simply go ahead and attend the call next up you can also customize app alerts here so if you go in app alerts you will see this option called only receive when the screen is off now this is also another way to reduce the number of notifications you're getting on your band. So once you turn this option on, what it will do is that it will only send notifications to your uh, band or your band will start vibrating only when your phone's screen is off, meaning when you're not using your phone. So if you're using your phone actively, you're going through your social media or doing some work or whatever you're doing and notifications are coming in, you can see those notifications right there on your phone. You don't really need your um, me band to notify you about those notifications so again if you want to reduce the number of notifications getting on your phone you can turn this feature on and that will reduce the number of notifications and clutter on your band on your wrist considerably next up you can also set up idle alerts here so uh, your band will vibrate if inactivity lasts for one hour so if your band detects that you have not been moving or you have been lying down or you have been lazy or you've been sitting for more than an hour it will notify you that it's time to get up and start stretching or walking or maybe take a round or do something and uh, this is a good way of keeping yourself motivated and you know prompting yourself to be more active throughout the day now you can also set up a specific time window here during which time your band will not uh, disturb you and will not distract you from whatever you are doing or if you want to take a nap during a daytime you can set up that window here your band will not detect uh, any inactive video will not bother you during that time so that's also really cool now the next feature that I want to talk about is heart rate detection so if you go in heart rate detection you will see quite a few features here now first you can set up the detection method here which is automatic heart rate detection which will turn on the continuous heart rate detection which will reduce the battery life you can uh, turn on the sleep assistant which will help to get more precise sleep data which reduces the battery life or you can turn on both of them which I have done here and um, then you can also turn off it entirely once you've done that now you can set up detection frequency once you come here now you can hit a very good balance between uh, your heart rate data detection as well as battery life if you select 10 minutes or 30 minutes if you select 1 minute or 5 minutes it will eat up your battery a lot faster next up you can also turn on activity detection so if your band detects that you are exercising without turning on the activity on your band itself it will um, you know kind of uh, improve the heart rate uh, detection on your band during workouts and then finally you can set up heart rate alerts here so you can uh, set up a value here from 100 to 150 and uh, like I have set up 100 here so if your heart rate uh, crosses 100 uh, beats per minute it will alert you that your heart rate is way high so do something about it maybe consult a doctor now moving on to the next feature I want to talk about night mode so if you go in night mode you can actually uh, schedule it from the start time to end time so if you go to bed at 12 a.m. you can set the time here and you can set up an end time and during that time the screen brightness will be lowered automatically so if you're wearing your band uh, to bed it will not hinder your sleep or will not uh, disturb you with the screen turning on while you're moving around in your sleep now the next thing that I want to talk about is the fact that you can actually lock your band with a passcode so for that you need to go in lab and go in band lock go in password and here you can uh, set up a passcode a four digit passcode press save and now I have the band on and it is unlocked right now but if and when I take it off after a while it will get locked so as soon as you take off your band from your wrist it will be locked and before you can use it again you will actually have to put on a passcode and this is actually really good you can add the security measure in case you lose your band or it gets stolen or something like that 
uh, you can be sure that your band is secure and it will not be easy for the next person to connect it to their phone so there you go now it is locked and if i want to use it i will have to add in the passcode now moving on to the next feature i want to talk about this another feature here called friends so if you go in here you can actually add your friends to this app and then track their activity and sleep info right here and then you can compare your activity with your friends which is actually a good way of keeping yourself motivated and keep pushing harder to that health goal now for this you actually have to scan either their qr code or you can send them your qr code to scan and add you to their uh, friends on their app and once you do that you can see each other's data now the next thing that i want to talk about is a uh, lift wrist to view info if you go in here you can actually change the sensitivity so you can set it to normal or sensitive and if it is sensitive whenever you will lift your wrist the screen will turn on and you will be able to see time because uh, it's the most frustrating thing ever to lift your wrist to look at time on your watch and the watch face doesn't turn on it has happened to me on galaxy watch active 2 and so that is why i'm really glad that they have included this feature here which makes sure that the screen will turn on whenever you lift your wrist now you can also go in here and you can set it for all day you can schedule it or you can turn it off entirely next up you can also change uh, the band watch faces as well so there are almost 60 watch faces that are included in the app and you can choose from them and there are a ton of them here and every shape and size actually and uh, you can choose between them and once you select any one of them you just tap on it sync watch face and it will apply to your mi band 4 and it literally takes just seconds to happen and there you go you have a new watch face now this is really cool it is again something that i was not expecting it to have but you have it here it's great and then when you go in my band displays it will appear here as well so you can quickly uh, toggle between your favorites from here and you can also go in custom tab and create a custom watch face here you can change color you can change background you can do a lot here and create a custom watch face as well and if all this is not enough you can go into the play store and here you can search for mi band 4 watch face and there are a ton of watch face apps on your play store and you can download them and get even more watch faces and now the last thing that i want to share with you guys is the ability to locate your phone from your band uh, if it goes missing or you lose it or something like that so you can go in more and here look for find device when you will hit it it will make your phone make this really high pitch sound and um, you can't miss it actually so let's do that so there you go and then you can tap this button to turn it off so this is actually a good way of quickly locating your phone so that's about it from this video guys those were the 10 cool things that you can do with mi band 4 uh, and it's actually a really good band i've been really impressed with it i've been using it for five four five days now and if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video till then take care Bye bye